Hey guys, it's Kelly. Um, so I'm at my aunt's house right now, so I'm talking really quiet because she's just trying to sleep in the next room. So if you can't really hear me, I'm really sorry. But uh, I just, I really wanted to make this video and um, I've been wanting to make it for a long time and I'm really nervous, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, <clears throat> so for a while now, a long time for um, what's going to be around going on almost three years, I want to say. Um, I'm a lesbian and um, I just feel like it would be rude of me or just dishonest of me if I didn't tell this on my channel if I wanted to be the, be have this be a main part of my life and I didn't want to live a lie and I just really wanted to be honest um, especially if this could potentially take off as a career I don't know I just wanted it to um, you know I just wanted to get off my chest to potential viewers or my viewers now um, so yeah this is I guess my coming out story so it happened about oh what was it 2013 I want to say in February 2013 around Valentine's Day um, well that was when I when my, my family found out but I came out to like other people like my friends and my my girlfriend at the time and um, that's how it all started um, she's, she's my ex-girlfriend now but at the time when she was my girlfriend um, she told me she had feelings for me and this was back in 2011 of oh, December so she told me she had feelings for me and I was like Nah, no, okay, like, you know, whatever, you're my friend, you've been my friend forever, um, there's no way I could have feelings for you because you're a girl, like, I didn't think that I could ever have feelings for a girl at this time, and it was just really confusing, and I didn't think of anything of it, so it went on for about a year and stuff, and she would just, she just still had feelings for me, and I would just be like, mm, mm, I'm not sure what I want, and then, the next year, in 2012, I was starting to think about what I really want, and it turns out I just kept thinking to myself, no, you can't be, like, you like boys, like, it's, it's, it's a bad thing to do this, and, you know, we're like, what if people hate you, and what if you're just hated by everyone, and so I just kind of kept it in for a little bit, and didn't want to tell anyone because it was just really scary and I was really confused and I was just all these questions were going through my mind and so finally around no November of 2012 I was like okay I'm there's no denying that I'm attracted to girls um it's just something that I couldn't avoid anymore because I really did have feelings for this person um, who eventually became my girlfriend and we kept it a secret from our families for about three months but we told our friends because we just we didn't want to hide it that much so um, I told my best friend first I texted her we would I texted her this and I was just really confused and but then she reassured me that you know it's okay to feel this way and it's not a bad thing if I feel this way and she'll always be my best friend no matter what and she'll always you know be there for me and that was a real relief because I didn't think that anyone or not anyone but just I didn't expect that reaction especially from my best friend and and so I told her about you know, what was going on and what I was thinking of and just, um, she was just real supportive and I appreciate that and she's still my best friend to this day and we, we talk all the time even though she's away at college and it's just, it's, it's great, um, so, after that, 
after we kept it a secret. We didn't keep it, we kept it a secret from our families because we didn't really wanna, you know, we didn't know how to tell them and I, I was still really scared. I was just recently out of the closet with this brand new girlfriend and I was never in a relationship before that. Um, so I didn't know what to say to my family. Um, but it, it was, I was really scared and I was just so set on it being a negative reaction and I was just, I just didn't know what to do until my sister, she approached me and she asked me, hey, are you gay and are you dating this girl? And I was like, how did you find out? And she was like, oh my, or I'm not going to name names, but you know, so-and-so told me it was my best friend who I told first. And I guess, you know, she was just really, they were both really concerned, my sister and my best friend, they were just like, are you sure this is what you want? Are you sure it's just not a phase? It's just because you're lonely. Um, and I was just really confused and but I was like no this is not a phase I'm positive that this is what I want and I'm positive that I'm attracted to girls and they just kind of like were like okay whatever but you need to tell your mom and your dad and my parents were separated at the time so I kind of I didn't have to tell them together so I had to tell them separately so eventually my mom approached me I think this was like a month or two later after my sister and my best friend confronted me and um, my mom approached me and she was like I you know I've been noticing these things you know um, are you a lesbian and I was like I, that just like when she asked me that my heart dropped I because I was not expecting for her to talk about this and approach me because I was just getting ready to tell her and it just took me by surprise and I did not know what to say. I was just so shocked and um so I was like, uh yeah, and I am dating this person and she was just she had so many questions. She was like, Oh, what about getting married? what about adoption and what about you know are you do, are, do, do you still find men attractive and or do you still want to date men too and do you what about all this and what about that and she just and we talked about it for a little while and um I guess she went to school because she's a teacher she went to school the next day crying and cause she was just you know just so upset about it for a little while and um I can understand that um, because, you know, parents have, like, this vision for their child, you know, to get married and have all these kids and have a nice life. And, you know, it all changes when you say, oh, I'm gay and, like, anything can change in an instant. Even if, if you come out as gay or transgender or whatever, pansexual, anything, you know, like, your parents' vision, they, it, it changes and it, it freaks them out and they only want what's best for you. And... It took my mom a while, a long time for her to be comfortable with me and my girlfriend. Um, same thing with my sister, like I had to tiptoe around them and um, for a few months and it was, it wasn't great but it needed to be done because they needed to get used to the fact that I'm not changing and this is who I am and um, so and then I actually, I then a few days later, after I had to talk, okay, after I had to talk with my mom, I um, I decided to tell my dad because I wanted to keep him in the loop too, and so I called him and I was like, hey, um, can we meet for dinner? And and because I, I need to tell you something, and he was like, oh sure, yeah, like whatever, and so we picked a day and um, he picked me up and we went to dinner, and um. So I told him, I was like, so, um, for the past few months I've been feeling that, that I've been attracted to girls and that I like girls and I'm, I'm gay and, and I actually have a girlfriend. And he was like, he just looked at me and he was like, I already knew. 
And I was like, what do you mean you already know? He's like, I could just see the signs. I, I kind of predicted that this was going to happen, and I'm not really surprised. But, and um, he said that he will love me no matter what, and he'll support me. But he's like, but he also said, because I was in high school at the time, he's like, you just have to be careful with all the baggage that comes with being a lesbian in high school with a girlfriend because there's always going to be people staring if you hold hands and asking questions and just you never know what could happen because a kid in recent in my school before me came out and he got like not attacked but he just got verbally attacked and he just it just wasn't great so my sister was in high school with me at the time and so she was just like oh you can't hold your girlfriend's hand in the hallway because people are going to stare and you don't want to make them uncomfortable and honestly that that really made me mad because I wanted it to be comfortable because it's something that should be comfortable like I shouldn't have to hide the fact that I have a girlfriend and I because I'm I'm proud to have her and be with her in high school and it was just it was really that was really hard for me and my girlfriend at the time because I was just really confused and she would go to hold my hand and I would kind of like take it away because I didn't want people to stare but after a while I just didn't care anymore I wanted this to be something that I was comfortable with and it took me a long time to be comfortable with being a lesbian and um it was a long, very long and tedious process of the whole coming out thing, but I'm so happy that I'm out now and my mom and my sister and my dad and my whole family, they're all okay with it. Um, everyone, except for like my grandparents, because they don't really know, but um, everyone else is is fine with it. They'd always ask me how my girlfriend was doing and how everything was going and if I was okay and just they were everyone was just so supportive and it was it was a real sense of relief and it's just great to be out and be me be myself and be who I am. And I'm proud to be me and be who I am. Because if it wasn't, when I didn't come out, then who knows what would have happened, who I would be today. So, if you're out there and you're watching this, if you're still watching this, um, and, and you're in the closet still and you just don't know what to do or what to say, talk to someone. That's the best advice I can probably give anyone is to just talk to someone about this. Talk it through with your best friend or a close relative or someone you're just real close with and that you can trust and just, I can't express how important it is to be yourself. Yeah, I know some people can't come out because of their family and they're very conservative and, or religious or whatever your situation is but excuse me and if you're afraid to come out of the closet then then don't come out until you know you are ready you will know when you are ready trust me um because it's Coming out is a hard process and it can be very scary and very just it can it can just be very difficult, especially if you're in high school, because of all this pressure and the society you're in and whatnot and people stare at you if you have, if you're holding your partner's hand or you know, people always stare and point, or there's always that person who will make a comment or something. But you just gotta learn to brush it off and just be yourself and not care what other people say about you because you are you and you are you for a reason and everything will be okay in the end. It gets
gets better. If you're in a tough spot right now, I tell you, I can tell you that it gets better. Even if you're, if you have no one out, like a partner or a significant other, if you don't have anyone, and you're just you, but you know who you really are, that's okay too. You don't have to be in a relationship or anything to come out. You can just just be yourself and. Hopefully everything will fall into place once pe once you quit hiding who you are and stop pretending to be who you aren't because being yourself is very important and I know I've said that a lot so I'm sorry if I'm sounding repetitive. So I just wanted to get that out there because I, th I think that it's very important for me to put this on my channel because I don't want to like you know lie and I just want to be myself and be who I am and just you know I just want to be honest with everyone and have an open mind and an open heart and if you need anything you know talk to someone it's just, it's so important to talk to people that you trust, especially if you're having troubles or if you're, you know, thinking that you don't matter or nothing matters, because we've all thought that. And it does, you do matter. You do matter. Everyone matters and everyone is here for a reason and what you do is for, your, for a reason. Whatever you believe in, whatever you think, Everyone is here for a reason, and everything we do and everything that happens is for a reason, and everything will get better, I promise. So that concludes this video. Sorry it wasn't very entertaining, it was just a serious, serious kind of video. Um, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be doing more fun stuff. Hopefully in the future I have some ideas in mind, so stay tuned if you would like, if you're interested. Alright, bye guys, thanks for watching.